Okay, today we're unboxing uh, a camera that I bought online from uh, B and H uh, Video, which is in New York. I used to go to this store when I lived in New York, and it's uh, very good. I bought the A6500 Sony camera, and I also bought some lenses because uh, that type of camera is no good unless you have lenses. So, we'll do an opening here. Okay. And, let's see what we got here. Whoa. I wasn't expecting the, that one lens to be that big. Okay. First, we have uh, the... I bought a lens. This is a Sony lens. It's a, a zoom lens, power zoom, 18 to 200 uh, millimeter lens. That's one. And in here is a, the Sony flash for the camera. I bought an external flash, even though the camera comes with a uh, with a built-in flash, I bought this because the flash goes further with this than the uh, built-in. Then, here's the camera, Sony A6500. Okay. And this is another lens. This is a, a 16 by 50 millimeter lens, power zoom, by Sony. I bought this, well, this came as, actually I got a big discount on this because they had it as a bundle set with the camera. And this is good for a wide angle, for being very up close. And this is the Sigma lens and this is a zoom lens, 150 to 600 uh, millimeter lens. I bought this for because we're going to be taking a trip and I wanted to get some uh, long range shots when we go to the Grand Canyon. Now it was also bundled with a uh, with a, uh, a carrying bag small but this is cheap uh, and an extra battery came with the bundle price I must have popped open out of the, the box now this this is a uh, Dawa battery this is uh, not a Sony branded uh, battery but it will work in the Sony camera and it came with a SanDisk uh, uh, memory card that was bundled also. And now you need this. It's a, a Sigma uh, converter. That's for the, the this Sigma lens that I bought is uh, made for Canon cameras. So you need to convert it for Sony uh, E-mounted uh, lenses, and that, that's what this is for. So, we got that, and in a separate box that came, separate box I bought a Sony uh, microphone okay that mounts on top of the the camera so this is to get better sound quality it also comes with a, a windsock that goes over it and that's that's it. Uh, 
Let's take a look at the camera. Okay. <clears throat> Make sure everything is okay. Comes with all the documentation. Wow. They have a lot of documentation for the camera. And inside, now it comes with a, 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 a strap for the camera. The strap is very thin. So I wouldn't, uh, I'm most likely going to get a thicker strap because once you put some of these lenses on, it's very, uh, uh, very heavy. So this is probably going to be the first thing to go, uh, is the strap. And you have a USB uh, cable for the camera. You have the battery. You have a uh, wall charger, but you can charge your camera. And this is for the uh, the um, the eye lens uh, viewer. Okay, this goes on the back of the camera. Okay, and here we go. Here's the Sony A6500. That's it. Of course, before I can do a review on the camera. I have to um, uh, charge the battery. Before. All right, so now we'll continue here. To put together the USB, uh, you just plug it into the, the the wall charger like this. Okay, I had already done this before, but I'm showing uh, everyone how to do this. Now this is the uh, strap that comes with the camera. It's not a very good strap. Uh, for one thing, it's not padded and uh, it's maybe only an inch uh, wide and uh, to give support especially when you have a heavier uh, lens on there I would say you need a, a strap that's at least uh, two inches and pad it so uh, I'll be changing this but I'll show how how to put this on now I already started it. You take out the loop, okay, and you uh, remove one side. Hold on. And we pass it through the eyelet here. Pass it through, bring it back through here, bring that down, and then this will go back inside here, and we'll bring this up so we have some space. Bring this in and pass it through back here. So this is what it looks like. Okay, and we bring this through. And you 
adjust it like so and just like that so that's how to put it on okay and now installation of the battery we turn it over they have a little switch and it pops open now you see the the contacts are on right here and the contacts are right down the bottom so you turn it around there's a tab over here it's a blue tab this gets pushed over using the battery we push it over and it drops into place and then it snaps over back in place holding it in place the the memory card goes in the same place there's a little cutout right here looking at the camera this is the front of the camera we put this in here and that slides into place and locks into place then you close it back up slide over the little tab and that's it now when you charge it there's a little panel on the side this panel opens up and you'll plug this in the wall and the top one is your micro USB port and that will be plugged in right there like that there'll be a little light that will go on I already had charged this there'll be a light that will go on that will indicate that it's charging below below that is a micro HDMI port and below that is for the external microphone so let's turn this on because <clears throat> you have to enter the setup okay and you can see that the first setting is English so we'll press enter you press enter okay this is the enter set area date and time so we'll enter now I live in uh, central time in the United States so which is sh under Chicago so we'll press enter because that's the area setting now daylight savings time off well we, we have daylight savings time here now date and time is next you use use the side over here to go up and down and the center to press enter so date and time now it's May enter oh, May and then press over and then it is the 23rd I believe of of May let me just make sure because sometimes I get the date wrong I'm only human okay it's the 23rd and it says 2016 I know it's 2018 and the time is 2 53 huh? but it's p.m. maybe this is on military time okay you have to scroll around so 2 uh, 54 okay enter now 
It has date format. In different parts of the world, we do things differently. But in the United States, we go, uh, we say month, day, year. But in a lot of places, it's uh, day, month, year. So I'm going to uh, do the format. And this is English, month, day, year. You see, they have the other format of doing year, month, day, and then uh, May, day, year, day, month, year. Okay, enter. Okay. Now, this is for uh, the Wi Fi and Let's see. I probably have to set up the Wi Fi. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install a lens. This is one of the lenses that I bought with the camera. It's an E mounted uh, Sony lens, uh, Power Zoom. The PZ stands, stands for Power Zoom. 16 to 50 millimeter with a f-stop of 3.5 to 5.6. Now, you take off the back, and you can see that there's contacts. That's important because you can see the contacts here in the camera. Now, this screws on, so you go a little bit off and it locks into place. In order to take the, the lens off, there's a little button down here. You have to press that and then twist off and it will come off. So on and then the cover comes off. Now Let's turn this on. Okay. Now one thing that the the A6500 has is it has a tiltable uh, screen and it comes out. So now this is in a touch screen. It's a touch screen as far as uh, selecting a focus point. So now with this uh, this uh, zoom lens, it's a power zoom, and over here is to go out and okay, see it goes back and forth. <clears throat> and it shows on the screen. Now, of course, you have to do the other settings for the camera, such as uh, if you want a, sh a shutter speed or uh, you want to control the uh, f-stop. So, that's up to you. Yeah, uh, it depends on your, the desired effect you want to get with the camera. So that's how to install the uh, lens. Very simple. And it's uh, doing the job. Anyway, thank you for watching.